My name is Francis McKee, I'm Director of CCA. CCA is an arts organisation in the centre of Glasgow that began first as the Third Eye Centre in 1973-75 to 75 it was founded and then later in 92 became the CCA. A separate organisations but very similar, it's both based around art and visual art in particular. We cover visual art first, but we also sort of look at events, dance, literature, music, everything. But uh, our core programme is based around visual arts and our aim and the aim since the beginning has been to provide a gallery, a space for artists to use in Glasgow. So it was the first in a series in the infrastructure of Glasgow where people stopped leaving the city. Before that, you had to go to London if you wanted to succeed as an artist. Now you can actually stay in the city because there are enough spaces to stay in the city. Forms of Action is an exhibition which is a survey of socially engaged artistic practice and this is the culmination of several phases in that we got funding to get a new curator, Viviana Kekia, who's a curator of public engagement. She works with artists who are socially engaged which means that they work outside of the building a great deal of the time. They are artists who work directly with the public and it's more about the process of working with the public than an outcome that is visually beautiful. One of the interests that I developed since I joined the organization was actually connected also with the definition of my title because the title is public engagement but what I'm really interested in is social engagement and I wanted to understand what was the definition of social engagement that was present here in Scotland. Viviana has a real passion and enthusiasm for socially engaged art practice and that is something that she's been planning to um, put in a showcase for a main exhibition for quite some time. Uh, it's taken two years of her being in the post to get to grips with Glasgow as a city and work out what would be best to have showcased in that exhibition. So there's seven different artists, all with very different practices, some of them based in Glasgow, some of them based in other parts of the world, but all of them have a relevance to the politics and the social times that we're living in. This came out of something where we wanted to be more engaged beyond the building and beyond the gallery and we had education programs, we worked in Drum Chapel, we worked with food, growing, growing vegetables in particular. Um, and from that, when we got uh, Viviana and the programming money, she has begun a whole series of programs called Cooking Pot around the city, looking at food in different ethnic communities in the city and beginning to bring in other communities as well. So I created initially like a group together with other two organizations in town, the Common Guild and the uh, Glasgow Sculpture Studios. So initially we created a symposium. Uh, the title of the symposium was Social Intention. The symposium gathered together different institutions that are already using social engagement at the core of their program. And therefore they have an experience that has been developed since decades about how to use social engagement within an art institution. The reason why we did that, it was to understand what were the limitations, but also the benefits of having a more socially engaged sort of program. And if the CCA could actually achieve it or let's say, contribute somehow to the current discourse that was present uh, throughout the UK and Europe. So we did two different things. On one side we created a publication which is called Forms of Action, in which we gathered four texts written by curators that have either an institutional or non-institutional experience and they could define what social engage our practice means. And then on the other hand we created this exhibition together with a program of events uh, which was a way to really present all these approaches through talks and workshops and screenings, but also gallery-based practice. We have a Spanish artist called Asuncion Molinos Gordo. She delivered a project called The Answer Phone. It's a sound piece. In order to create that project, she spent quite a long time here in Scotland, interacting with local farmers and collecting information about the status of farming here in Scotland. There's really interesting work around farming and really interesting work around planting and ideas around gardening which I think sound fairly uh, simple and, and quite sweet but actually have a really strong political and social message. So through the answer phone, um, in a kind of sarcastic way, people can learn what are the present issues at the moment in Scotland. For the seven artists participating, uh, they all have in common one thing, which is that they have a strong interest about the interaction between art and society. They presented it in many different ways. Some of them connected their work with the site of Glasgow or Scotland. Some others just presented a practice that they developed somewhere else, but can still be interesting to learn for us here in Scotland. 